transparent overdrives. When I hear that term, this is the picture which comes to my mind. With the hype of the clone centaur, the blues breaker circuits like the king of tones, the tube screamer mods, the Timmy fan following, all of these things have created a hype around what we call as transparent overdrives today. It's not just these classic pedals, it's also these clones from some very good manufacturers to not so known manufacturers and some boutique shops have kept the prices of these pedals so high that it's beyond the reach of a regular guitar player. So I can understand if the gigging musicians buy them, but for guys like us who are primarily home players and I know hobby players, it really, it really doesn't justify the price. We're going to look at a few pedals today, but before we get into that, I'm not associated with any of these brands, nor were these pedals given to me for free. These pedals have existed in my pedal board and I've actually used them for recording, you know, some tracks for friends or, or you know, all some of the things that you have been hearing in the channel, etc. So, and, and the channel is not monetized. So these are unbiased views. So there's no coloring, the views are transparent. So the only way you can support us is by hitting that subscribe button. So I really, really would appreciate if you can do that for us, if you find this, you know, this video useful. Now the pedals you're gonna talk about are these. Really cheap. In fact, the Tube Screamer clone has been sitting on my pedal board when I have two actual real Tube Screamers. The Clon Centaur is actually always on. It has no noise um, you know, because my power supply is a beautiful power supply. So I think it's one of the contributors. I've heard people saying that it's noisy. It's not. And the Dumbler is actually one of my favorite because it's it sounds so much like a Tube Screamer, but it's different. Anyway. Okay, before we get into that, uh, let me explain my signal chain first. Guitar, going into my pedal board, what I've done is I've put the looper first. So I'm going to play only once and that's going to get recorded in the looper. And then I'm going to shuffle between the pedals as I record it. The pedal board is going into an Ibanez TSA 15, which is a 15 watt tube amp. And uh, it's connected to a 1x12 cabinet, which has a Fender Eminence uh, speaker, which came out of a blues deluxe or a blues junior and i have put it in an oversized cab and it's mic with a single sm57 so i'm not going to do any tweaking coloration or anything of that sort i'm going to record a four bar chord progression very hendrix like and let the loop run so the first time when you're hearing it that is me playing uh, and recording the loop and that's also the clean signal so none of the pedals are on so we're going to hear that same four bar, um, you know, chord progression, you know, with each of the pedals three times after that. And once we are done with that, see, every pedal um, has its own behavior. There's not a right way of actually justifying that pedal. We will put the same four bar phrase, you know, in the mix to see how these pedals individually sound in the mix. And I'm going to play that three times with each of these pedals individually. So. Let's have fun and um, as usual, help the channel out by hitting that subscribe button and like button. It really matters to us. Thank you. Just a simple phrase. Okay, let's run the same phrase with the clone on. That rhymed weirdly, but these are the levels. Now that 
Cube Tree Motor. Let's run this weird experiment. Let us see how it sounds if we keep the clon and the tube screamer on together. So let's run the same, this is a bonus, so I'm going to run it through the Vintage Tube Monster. It actually has a 12AX7 inside and I kind of like it, I've been using it for a while. Let's see how it sounds. Okay. 